Hello, sinners. It is I, Father Evil, and I invite you to Destination Station on YouTube. Bagels can go to Destination Station. This buddy is the bomb. Yep. Yep. Fucking A. Yep. I had to say that for a reason. Freddy, take that, motherfucker. All right. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah. Jamie Kennedy. Subscribe to my man, Destination Station, right now if you want the best content. make this video for a little bit I've been kind of behind on everything and uh, but you know what I'm still gonna pump it out here uh, I want to talk about the updates of Scream 7 and the possible setting of it being uh, a Christmas setting I really like this idea uh, we're not exactly sure it's not confirmed that this is going to be an actual Christmas setting uh, it, it is just a rumor right now, but but it seems like this is becoming the new trend. You know, these holiday movies, and and I th I've always said that I feel like they should do more holiday movies or some sequels to some past ones, like Valentine or My Bloody Valentine. You know, we got uh, It's a Wonderful Knife coming out. You know, and, and we got Thanksgiving coming out, but we also got some other movies that are set around the season, and it's not just you know a play on words, or it's not just a uh, named after a holiday, you know. Uh, so, so like Scream Seven, I think it would be really cool with it being in New York, or even like, or even if it's Woodsboro, wherever it's at, and we get this Christmas setting, uh, and 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 we got snow on the ground, maybe some ice. I could see some victims slipping on ice, running from Ghostface. I could see Ghostface slipping on ice as many times as he's been tripped and and knocked upside the head. And, you know, like, like just like chasing someone down a street and just slipping on like some black ice, you know, I think that would be hilarious. Um, but, it, you know, with like a lot of people want these, a lot of people's been wanting uh, a, a, a Friday the 13th uh, a movie set in the snow. And I, and I don't disagree. I think that would be awesome. I think that's a better setting. I think like Camp Crystal Lake, everything snowy, having like 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 the lake iced over or something. I think that's just a really cool vibe and a cool setting and it, just, it could just be bloody. Scream, you know, it does show some blood and people do get killed, uh, especially in these new ones. But you know, like Scream's always been a little bit more held back on showing the carnage candy. But we are pumping it up a little bit. Uh, hopefully Christopher Landon, you know, keeps to that and, and, and makes it really bloody and intense and maybe takes it even up a notch from, from what Radio Science has brought us. So yeah, uh, I think that would be really awesome. I would love to see like the first half of this movie taking place in New York and then, you know, with all the all the killing and everything going on, they decide to go back home because they're just like, if we're going to be stalked by Ghostface, we might as well be at home where the rest of our family are and everything. And maybe the second half or maybe the climax takes, uh, takes place in Woodsboro. I do like Woodsboro, you know, and I wouldn't mind a different setting, you know, even if it's uh, taking place at Christmas time. Like, I, I, I really like the approach they took with Scream 6. And if they could just take it up a notch, and if they could just, if Christopher Landon can just land that climax with the reveal of the killers and keep the same tone as the rest of the movie, you know, how Ghostface is vicious throughout the movie, but then when our killers are revealed, they become bitches or they become really goofy animated characters and it's like they're not menacing anymore they're not scary anymore and they almost weren't even it wasn't even a surprise of who the killers were i want that surprise bring back that surprise and bring back that series of billy loomis you know like like not every killer has to be like Stu mocker now we don't have to do that goofy approach you got to balance the goofy with the seriousness like billy and Stu did billy was serious you could see it in his eyes he was he was mad he was mean and Stu was the opposite of that. He was just doing it for fun. Now all our killer killers are just seeming more like fun in these new uh, uh, entries into our franchise. But yeah, what do you think about the Christmas setting for uh, 
for Scream 7. Do you want that and do you want it to take place in New York or do you want it to take place in Woodsboro or would you like to have multiple locations? Like, like we don't have to be in just one location. Our characters can can go from one location to the next. So, so yeah, and please bring back Sidney Prescott, Nev Campbell uh, needs to be back. I'm hoping for the best. Also, bring back Patrick Dempsey. We got him coming up in the new Thanksgiving trailer. Uh, check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But that looks like it's going to be a really good uh, a slasher movie, slasher whodunit. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Check it out whenever it gets released next month. Uh, so yeah, if we can get him back in the slasher and the horror world, bring him back over to Scream because Detective Kincaid was super awesome and I think it would be really cool to see him come back with Sidney Prescott. So yeah, or I guess she's Sidney uh, Kincaid now. <laughs> so anyways, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this. Do you want more holiday movies or do you want them to just be, or do you want like new horror movies just being set during the holiday? Because in Scream 6, it was set during Halloween, but it was kind of like in the background it wasn't like full focused you know we did get the halloween party we did get people walking around in costumes and stuff like that and they were talking about it but they didn't go full on halloween feel with it you know uh do you want it to be more in the background of christmas setting or do you want it to be more fo forefront like like full-on christmas movie you know like let me know in the comment section below i'd like to see what they do around this and uh, it will it even make sense around the plot while the killer would be attacking around Christmas time. All right, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Uh, let's get theorizing predictions going because, you know, even though that today is Halloween, by the way, happy Halloween, everybody, uh, we have a lot of horror news to talk about and to be looking forward to in the coming months. So, yeah, uh, this is Destination Station. As always, I'm Destin. Thank you for clicking on this video, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oh.